Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to install Geyser on your Minecraft server. Geyser allows for Bedrock clients to join Minecraft Java Edition servers. For example, you can join with Windows 10 Edition Minecraft, Android, iOS, or Fire OS. To get started, as you can see, we've logged into our server panel, and our server is currently running Paper 1.16.4, which is the latest build as of this video. We're going to head on over to geysermc.org, go to the download button, and this will take us to the download options page, which we will then download the geyser-spigot jar, and we'll just save this to our desktop. And then we're going to go ahead and click geysermc up at the top, and we're also going to need the plugin floodgate, and this will allow for the Bedrock clients to join the Java Edition without having to sign into a Java Edition account. So once we're here, we can go ahead and download the Floodgate Bucket Jar, and we're also going to save that to our desktop. Now that we've got both of these plugins downloaded, we're going to want to connect to our server using an FTP client. Today we're going to be using FileZilla for my FTP client. If you're unsure how to connect to your server via an FTP client, we have another tutorial video on that, as well as a help.pebblehost.com article, and that will also be linked in the description of this video. We're going to take the two plugins that we've just downloaded and drag and drop these to the plugins folder to upload those to our server. Once we get the message all files have been successfully transferred, we can go ahead and go back to our server panel and restart our server to allow those plugins to load into our server. Once our server is back online, we'll go back to our FTP client and we'll go ahead and refresh the files within there. We'll go to the plugins folder and we'll find that Floodgate and Geyser have both created their own folders. For this video, we're only going to need to focus on the geyser-spigot folder, so we'll double click that and open the config YML by right clicking and clicking view and edit. This will open it up in your default text editor. I'm going to be using Notepad++. Once we have this pulled up, we'll need to go back to our server and go ahead and grab our server's port. So we'll go ahead and copy this port, minimize this tab, and we're going to change both of these ports here on the config. So not only the bedrock port, but also the remote port. Next, we're going to change the address on the remote port to 127.0.0.1, otherwise known as the loopback IP. And we'll change auth type to floodgate, as that's what we've previously downloaded. So that'll be set to floodgate. And once this has been completed, there's really no other changes we need to necessarily make in order for this to work. However, if you'd like, you can change the message of the day. And there's two of those that you can change for the bedrock client. Now, the message of the day is what will be shown to your players whenever they first add your server to their client. So as you can see here, it's currently Geyser MC, another Geyser MC forced host, and we can change these to whatever we'd like. Keep in mind, this will not change what Java edition clients see. Uh, you'll need to change that MOTD in your server.properties file. Once we're finished with this config, we can go ahead and click save and X out of this. And FileZilla is going to ask us to upload the file. We'll say yes. We'll go back to our server and restart. Okay, so our server has started back up and we've jumped into console to check two things to ensure Geyser is set up correctly. The first thing is enabling floodgate for bucket. And the second thing is started Geyser on our server's IP address. And then we'll take a look at the port. So we need to ensure this port is our server's port. If this port checks out, then we've successfully installed Geyser on our Minecraft server and set it up correctly. So now let's go ahead and jump in game to ensure Geyser is working and running properly. Okay, so we've gone ahead and jumped in game, and as you can see, I've pasted my IP address into the server address bar. I'm gonna go ahead and click join server. And as you can see, it's logged me in on Java Edition just fine. Now that I know that the Java Edition is working fine, I'm gonna go ahead and join on my phone to ensure that the Bedrock client is also working. Okay, so I've now loaded up Minecraft onto my phone. I'm going to click Play, and then Servers, and scroll all the way down to the bottom to Add Server. We'll go ahead and give this server a name. And now we'll need to enter in the IP address of our server, just as we did whenever we joined the Java edition of Minecraft. So as you can see, I've entered in the server IP. However, I do need to change the port to our server's port, which is 25575. Once we have this, we'll go ahead and click Save to save it to our servers, and then we'll go ahead and click on it and click Join Server. Okay, as you can see, I've now joined the server, and as you can see also in the chat, um, I've joined on my Java Edition account as well. So let's see if we can kind of meet up um, with the two accounts to ensure that this is working correctly. All right, so that's my other uh, Java Edition account, 
And that's going to pretty much do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebbleos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.